Like waffles are deliciosity, okay? Who has their shoulders like that? Like my dude, you good, bro? Yo, hello everyone. Today I'm gonna be following Queen slash Rhino Tuna's tutorial on how to draw an OC professionally. So the first thing we gotta do is form, form an, an idea, idea of like what we're gonna draw for our OC. Usually they base it off of like an object or like a concept idea. And for mine, I'm gonna be basing it off of an egg waffle because egg waffles are deliciosity, okay? Now we're just gonna add a bunch of words that might later be used in our OC or like just generally have to do with a thing. So since egg waffles are kind of in this bubble wrap shape, I'm gonna add the word bubbly on there and I wanted to draw a girl today. Egg waffles are also street food, so I put that up. Since they can be pulled apart, you can share it with people. And so I put the word extrovert on there. I also thought she'd be cute and sweet. I know there are savory versions of egg waffles, but I personally prefer the sweet one, so we're just gonna go with sweet. The next step is to start actually drawing out the concept of your OC. Colleen uses a 3D model to draw in her stuff, but since Ibis doesn't have a 3D model, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a base from the Ibis Asset Store, and we're gonna be liquefying that to fit the proportions that we want our OC to be. Also, because like, who has their shoulders like that? Like, my dude, you good, bro? <laughs> and now we're just gonna be drawing, adding another layer on top of that and drawing on all the features. Our first key word is the word bubbly. So I wanted to exaggerate it. So I gave her like these buns and like these bangs to make her head and everything look more round because you know, bubbles are round. And I gave her this hairstyle thing, kind of like Jasmine's. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's in like the back of her, but it's like the hairstyle that Jasmine kind of has, except longer. I also gave her this like really puffy jacket to make her look more like an egg waffle type of thing. And I gave her a streetwear aesthetic because it's a street food. I also gave her a bag because Colleen gave her OC a bag. So I'm like, yeah, I want to give mine a bag too. I also gave her like toppings because sometimes you can add like toppings on top of your egg waffles. Now that we're done with the basic concept, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that and we're going to start adding colors to it. I'm just color picking from like a picture of an egg waffle that I found online. Since everything seems to be very orangish and brownish, I'm guessing we're just going to go with this whole warm color palette thing. I also decided to add some pink in areas, not because like I'm basing this off of a specific egg waffle topping people ordered, but like just because pink goes well with orange and yellow, okay? <laughs> Once we're finished with that, we're going to duplicate that layer again and we're going to start tracing over it and just cleaning it up so we can do like a final more rendered version of our OC now. My version of cleanup won't be so clean because I personally suck at line art and I don't like this part of drawing, so I kind of just usually skip it. But since we kind of have to do it here, or else our OC will make no sense later. I'm just gonna keep it still a little bit sketchy because that's just me, okay? It's a style. It's a look. Let's let's just say that instead of me being lazy, okay? So yeah, I'm basically color picking, adding some more like shadows and stuff. And I'm also adding like some blue in the shadows, like Queen said, because values or whatever. And I'm adding some more buckles everywhere. I've turned her strap of her bag into a buckle and I went like around her sweater area because Queen also said to distribute out accessories that they're having around them to make things look more even. Now that we're finished with the whole coloring rendering of our full body of this OC, we're going to open up another canvas and we're going to draw a closer headshot of her so that we just get a better idea of what she'd look like if she was all cleaned up and all look nice looking and actually rendered. I wanted to give her like this very cute pose because you know that's also part of her cool character design thing. And so I drew her like eating this egg waffle. That's why she has like these crumbs on her face and she's like has this puffy cheek, you know, because she'd be eating. And I made her look up a dress because I feel like she'd be a very petite character. And my self reflection that I'm just short. Um, anyways, okay. <laughs> it was really fun to draw her because she was very bright and very colorful like I wanted her to be and I really enjoyed drawing her. Tell me what we should name her in the comments because I'm very bad with names and don't know what to name her. Rhino Tuna usually has like a picture of what he was basing his OC off of. I was just gonna find a normal picture of an egg waffle but turns out someone actually customized their egg waffle toppings to have like the same toppings we drew this girl having. It even has like a pink cup. Like we have this girl wearing pink too. I was like, whoa, okay, I wasn't expecting that but okay that's pretty cool you know anyways here's how this girly turned out tell me what we should name her in the comments below and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next one Bye.